What a stunning venue. We are live at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time for our tale of the tape. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. The Gypsy... Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber. One of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history. His knockout percentage is off the chart. This is gonna be an intense step. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of... A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Todd, I'm gonna stay here till... All right. I'm we're expecting an all-out offensive display. He misses with that jab. Missed him with that uppercut. Down her right. Both men step back for just a moment. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. This is that place you want to say, I fought there, I been there, and now we are here. Good counter punching. Nice counter shot. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. So much firepower here. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. There's a counter shot. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too weak? Here we go for round two. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. He misses with that jab. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of us. All these kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it jeez them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. He just misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because that's all big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because somebody's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. That left counter was perfectly timed. And he fails to score with that left hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. He is 
down big time on the scores. Oh, you know, I've been in fights right now. When you think you come... Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Wolfman step back for just a moment. Caution being thrown to the wind. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. I've never seen a fight so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they went out of steam. Then step back for just a moment. Left counter scores. And that's a shade just from both men in this round. Perfect counter lands. Neither man really defending themselves. Good left counter that lands. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it was like two different leagues. On to the fourth we go. Not a lot of punch. Tyson Fury just got rocked. Do you believe this? It somehow weathered the storm. And he misses with that jab. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice exchange here from both men. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand skin, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That left counter punch the score. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. We're absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Can't find a home for that jab.
One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Perfect dance partner. Caught him with a heavy punch. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get it. Touch and sink. On to the sixth round. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a look at because you've got to get some before you get in close. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Unlucky to miss with that jab. Nice counter shot. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter punch. Beautiful counter punch. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag with a pickpocket them. Good counter right hand again. Perfect punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. To his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every Here comes round seven. You'd like to see more jabs. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. 
the strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That jab doesn't score. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. He just misses with that big right hand. Left-handed jab doesn't quite score. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. The bell, sometimes it can be... And we enter the eighth round. Do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, you fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Another scoring shot there. Fantastic punch. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Neither man really defending themselves. Punch scores. So that left lands. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain, then. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. They're 
Lesnar giving us a high tempo show. They're giving us a high tempo show. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. It's round 10. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with that power punch. Gets out of the way of that left hand. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Punch. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Body language is bad. He could go down. Very Shoot close round with 10 to seconds to go. Trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Yeah. There's the bell to start round 11. Defending themselves. Just misses with the right uppercut. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Carries away that left hook. These punches coming from every angle. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. At this 
point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Look absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? We thought we would have made it to 12. Neither man really defending themselves. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood toss. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Good punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. to answer back. Nice exchange here from both men. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The three judges agree and we've got a unanimous decision. They've done it before, now they're doing it again and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, but what a result.